Hey everybody, welcome back to Eldorado EU4 Multiplayer, featuring myself, Northern Lion, as well as Quill, Mathis, and Arumba. Say hello. Hi. Hey hello. there. How's it going? It's going well, thank you for asking. You're welcome. I'm thinking about declaring a war, even though I'm in peace with them. You gonna truce break? Yeah. Mathis. What? That's, Don't that's, do this. that's a bad idea. Why? I can <laughs> I can boost my stability back up. Yeah, but it's... I w no, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm not qualified to tell you not to do this, but I, I can't attack it. anybody. Everybody is part of the HRE. Just take a minute, you know. Think about it for a moment. <laughs> All right, I'll just, just sit here. Yeah, just just let your resources pile up again. It's not uh, the end of the world. Mathis, I'm, I've got a quest to fabricate a claim on one of your provinces, so I'm going to do that, but. I, this is not a prelude to another war. Yeah, okay. As I move my 33 stack down, <laughs> just to <laughs> protect myself. Well, that that is wise. Oh, oh, oh 23 ducats a month. I don't want to pay you 23 ducats a month, advisor. Hey, but the new yeah. patches, new patches coming soon though. Soon, soon you'd be able to hire him and fire him. Get a new one. Ooh, it's exciting. I did grab one of the level 3 Diplo Advisors, because I'm going to need some points to peace out here. Because I realized I just took attack, so... Yeah. Actually, that's not a bad idea. How much do they cost to hire? 350. Alright. About 350? <laughs> Goddamn Loch Ness Monster! Alright, Australia. Oh, everyone's busy. I never should have vassalized these people. Just take them over and then fight the coalition. Hundred times easier. I never did decide. Oh, and I, and I didn't mention it during the video here. My uh, colonial nation de decided to attack Nizhny Novgorod's colonial nation, but um, I I still don't even have any idea where to put this merchant. Where would you put a merchant? <laughs> well, I don't see where all your stuff is, so it's tough. It'd be great if I could actually get into Africa, but... Yeah, let's just say uh, Ivory Coast. That'll be your thing. Ndongo's about to get bigger. That's an idea. Are you already doing the ultimate strategy of collecting from your trade node? Your no. home node? Sorry. <laughs> That's usually not beneficial. Yeah, but is this a usual situation? Maybe not. I might need to do that anyway. I'm going to get confused because I have multiple merchants that don't have names now. <laughs> I don't even know which one I'm clicking on now. That's great. Also, oh, I just rivaled Ashanti. It feels so good. They have no navy. What are you doing? You got that whole, you got one sea province. No navy? It's embarrassing. Man, let's come in, blockade the shit out of them. No. <laughs> you do one ship, man. Again? <laughs> one ship will blockade them. So if I declare a war on the same country that my colonial nation has declared a war on, they can't call me in because can't be allies in two wars against the same target. I, I don't understand what would happen. I, it's weird. Disney might join in and just crush your colonial nation without your help? Well, I'm thinking that if I declare a war, their war will be separate and maybe they'll be able to take war score too. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you'll just break the game. Oh, we've already, crash. we've already done that. I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. So why not uh, why not try again? Yeah, might as well, right? Ah, uh, it's 109 war score. Shit. To uh, vassalize Australia. That's my favorite alternative rock radio station. <laughs> 109, the war score. <laughs> we do that. Just play uh, Careless Rex all day, every day. It's pretty, pretty much just uh, right there in the title. Over oh, you're going to give me a diplomatic relations penalty for overextension? Rude. Is there any way to see when the NX subjects penalty comes off? Yeah. I'm in the I'm in F12 right now. Go F11. Oh, okay. And then oh, it's country a, modifiers. Yeah, it's country modifier. I was I wasn't gonna actually give you the answer because you just asked. You didn't like say how, how do you do I, it. I appreciate it though. 
Like when the my son was there. My son always asks, he's like, Can I can I get a drink of water? I say, I'm sure you can. Mm. Oh, you're that dad. I am. I am. <laughs> my parents are the same way. They would always respond, I don't know, can you? Exactly. That's I mean, I'm trying to teach him the difference between can and may. I mean, there's a big difference. You gotta kinda learn your grammar. I'm trying to, there's some kind of punchline in there, and I'm digging, but I, I can't quite tease it out. I don't think there is one. Oh, there's, <laughs> we'll manufacture one if there's not one. And it's always five years. If you annex like a one province minor, five years. 15. Five years what? Uh, sorry, annex subjects diplomatic relations penalty. Uh, I think it's ten years. Ten years? Might be, I'm not sure. Do you know yeah, if it stacks? Could, yeah, it's definitely no. it's ten years because I I have it and mine lasts until more okay. than five years from now. Sorry, yes, it does stack. It stacks. The it, the it rep, starts. the diplo rep hit does not stack. The the uh, relationship hit does. Right, but he's talking about the modifier. The modifier resets. So if you yeah. have, like they they'll both oh, okay, be there, okay. but only the newest one will be present. It will take effect or something. I appreciate that a lot. That will inform my decision. I might as well pay for this diplomatic rep guy if I'm going to be annexing people for the next twenty years. Yeah, definitely. As much as it hurts me in my soul to pay him this kind of money. Hey, uh, I'll improve your standing in the international community. Uh, how much will you charge me? Uh, literally 20% of your GDP. <laughs> <laughs> Seems fair. It's the way it goes sometimes. Apparently. Oh, I'm getting such lag. Oh. I was getting a little earlier as well. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah. There's the lots of uh, lots of nasty rebellions. Apparently, my overextension is dangerously high. The game wants me to know. Are you still over a hundred? No. 96, but I I keep forgetting that every province is like the same base tax, so they're all like 20% overextension. I'm used to taking like five or six provinces and having it just be a bunch of one base tax stuff. Yeah. You know, because there's normally only a couple really good provinces. Yeah. And you know which ones to expect. What's the one? I know one of them. It has a gold mine. It's over here. Uh, wait, don't... Tyrol, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or Milan. Any, anything in that area, you can expect. Bunch of them in Bohemia. I think the ship's not moving. Oh, I'm an idiot. Ah, undo. Yes, but why? I, uh... I was so excited, I saw the little flag pop up, and I was like, finally, I have enough diplomatic power to get the last in my idea group. But it was technology, actually, so... In the end, it doesn't make a huge difference, but, you know, level 13 Diplotech is probably worth less than finishing influence ideas forever. Ah, uh, maybe it doesn't matter that much. Feels like it matters. Oh, these conversion rates are terrible. Two percent more. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a truce is up with Arumbian Brazil. Yay. <laughs> now, are they independent? Like, does Arumbia still exist? No, they, they got full yeah. annexed by Nadongo. Okay, so the problem is, the last time I tried this, I declared colonialism on... I used Overseas Expansion, and it was going to cost me 50 Diplo points per province. Right. Which is dumb. And the only CB that I have is going to give me a discount on a single province. Wow. That is really weird. The cost for tech is so high. Oh, increase over time. Ah, right. 
That's why technologies are getting more expensive. Yeah, even with the um, like behind time bonus, I paid like five hundred and fifty for the most recent Diplo one. Something. Well, let me. I can see. I was very put off by it. Let's put it that way. Yeah, five hundred and seventy. Ah, uh, what? Sure, become the papal controller. How hard could it be? That's actually. It can be extremely difficult to do that. Mm hmm. Yeah, I hate that mission. And what's the reward? Like five prestige or something? Five like, prestige. Well, yeah. It, it, it Such used, bullshit. Used to be something you could actually control. Now it's just pure luck. Yeah. But I like those odds. 30% chance of gaining five prestige? To be fair, my other options were um, restore the Holy Sea, which is like, oh, come on, man. Like, I don't want to go all the way down there to roam take it over and then give it to the papacy and then like remove Artelon from the map which admittedly is probably pretty easy but I was too lazy to you know see where they even were on the map you're just gonna take that 30% chance and yeah I mean prestige is still nice and hard to get you've got some uh, particular fins in your <laughs> area there yeah it's quite particular it's a logistical thing like there's just so the country is so large that it's very, very difficult for me to stop these rebellions before they take one province. Come on, better, better leader, better leader, uh, slightly better leader. <laughs> I'd like to thank my vassals for th their uh, incredible amount of support and help during this time as well. Of of, of rebellion. Yeah, they're doing a fantastic job of uh, not crossing into my territory and just doing absolutely nothing oh. whatsoever. Sorry, one second. If you're in a war and they don't have something else to do, then they go and stop rebels pretty well, actually. Mm -hmm. But other than that, Prince Regency Council of the Noble Republic of the USA. Okay, sorry. The answer is that... They did steal my provinces in the colonial region, even though they're not cored. So good, they're going to core them okay. for me. So you had to core enough to form the, the nation. Yep, and then they stole them. Okay. Cool. Because no, I, I think that's a good thing, actually. Yeah. Hmm. I don't any of these. Check actually. What's the deal with the um, the Counter Reformation? Do we have a Counter Reformation yet? I'm thinking, at this point, it's like what I think it's what uh, Catholicism did to just counter the Protestants and Reformed. It, I think it gives you a uh, does it give you an extra missionary and more missionary strength or something? Yeah, like less tolerance of heretics or something. I don't know. I'm trying to, because there are provinces, I'm so close to so many centers of reformation that I can't actually convert a lot of my provinces, which is annoying. Mm -hmm. so, so that will definitely help. But I guess that would be in the policies menu, right? Or the decisions. Hmm. Embrace the counter-reformation? Maybe I've already taken it. Uh, it should show up as a buff on your country. Oh gosh, I'm losing so much money. Losing a hundred. Oh yeah. Okay. Hundred and forty ducats a month. <laughs> How many colonies do you have right now? <laughs> I have ten. I'm spending a hundred and forty ducats a month on colonies. It's probably fine uh, unless you have to take loans, in which case it may not be advantageous. Mm. But I'm probably not going to be able to support this for much longer. I have somehow I have thirteen point three percent inflation. I don't oh, know where geez. it all came. It's probably wow. from stealing all the money from the natives. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll do it, too. You remember when that didn't used to be a thing? Yeah, that was fun. That was terrible. You just go down, like, declare war in a couple of nations in Africa every every five years, because <laughs> truce timers were five years, and you just take... Or maybe they were ten, I don't remember. But you take, like, 3,000 gold, and then just keep doing it over and over, with no yeah. penalty. Yeah. Because they didn't spend their money, and you didn't get inflation from it. It's great. Yeah. Good times. You miss those times? Not really, they were stupid. Because I was like, 
I tried to force myself not to do it. I put all these rules in place, like, okay, <laughs> I could only take like 50% war score worth of money, uh, and and you know that was it, like to try to nerf it. But I, I felt good when it got patched because then I had I didn't have to like force myself to not do it. I just couldn't do it. I felt better. Oh, those green. Oh. All right, that's stupid. So I have uh, I just upgraded a bunch of light ships, right? So I put them in port. I hit the upgrade button. Did that. Um, and then what I did is I detached all the ones that were at 100%. So the ones that didn't need upgrading, and I put them back on patrol and trade node. And then I went to the ones that were in port and hit the protect trade button there because once they're done being retrofitted and repaired, then mm. they'll go and do trade again. But because of the combining of trade node behavior, the fully functional fleet decided to dock with their broken brethrens and uh. not protect trade while we wait for the repairs to finish. Like, no, that that's really not what I want. It's like a vacation for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they repair faster if it was in a cord land. I don't know if that makes a difference. No idea. I think it does, personally. It Good. only makes like sense. It's going slow. Shipwrights that are loyal to your cause and feel like they're part of your country should be motivated to work harder. Could be a religious and cultural thing, too. Are you Apparently saying I that, uh, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> Protestants don't build ships as well as Sunnis? Those That's are fighting true, words, actually. my friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My dad was a Protestant shipwright from the Ottoman Empire. Right. It's very common. Now, apparently I don't... Uh, Turks are not yet accepted by my country, but that's because I think I have, like, basically no cores on their stuff yet. Gotta wait for a few more. Then I think we'll be friends with the Turks. Bum, 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 bum. Quill, is it Newmark or Neumark? I'm assuming it's Neumark. Okay. Because that, that sounds more Germany, but I don't actually know. I'm sure someone will be able to uh, clarify that. How did I get reset? I'm so confused as to what my ships are doing. Whatever. As long as they're doing it. How are you doing, Mathis? Good. I'm bouncing back and forth between trying to manage my country and manage a cat with a cone on its head. So. Oh, no. Is that surgery? <laughs> yeah, a little, she had like a little thing on her eye, so we just took it off. A little bit of stitches, and uh, now she's got a cone on her head, and she does not know how. She doesn't know how to function. She doesn't know what to do with her uh, her life. That's the most casual description of eye surgery I've ever heard. Well, it wasn't because <laughs> it wasn't actually the eye. It was like the eyelid. Oh, it was a okay. tiny little something that, like, instead of you know stressing about it, we just took it off and sent it off to see if, if there's anything dangerous, which I don't think it is. Yeah. But she's a pain in the ass. She doesn't. She doesn't know how to move with a cone on her head. We always found that, like, uh, the cone stays on for about a day, and then we go to sleep and we wake up and the cone is off, and the cat's just, like, <laughs> loving life. <laughs> Fuck you, it took the cone right off. There's a fine line between, like, the easiest escape of all time and actually, like, constricting the airway <laughs> yeah. of the animal. <laughs> this country, I just, this... <laughs> Byzantium just asked me for military access, I gave it to them, and then they canceled the military access they were granting me. <laughs> so, oh. It's a real jerk wow. move. Slap in the face. No, yeah, it's rude. Although, if you're in a war, then no, that doesn't help. Let's say the whole foreign military access thing, but that's not relevant here. So, how bad is Nadongo? They're huge. Yeah. And even with their sub-Saharan tech group, they still are military level 14, which ain't bad. Yeah, you know, uh, as someone who was in your area, roughly, and uh, was playing against someone who was in Ndongo's area, roughly, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't underestimate them. Right, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, if any of these colonies could go ahead and finish, that would be great. Oh, war against the USA, look at that. I've got about four months of money left. Oh, man. <laughs> and you're hoping for those percentage ticks? Like, the chance of bonus settlers? Yeah, well, I'm just... I can... I had money, and I had determined earlier on in the game that spending money on, like, building 
many factories wasn't as good as spending money on just getting new territory. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's where we're at. I would, I would be doing a lot better if these bastards would uh, have not canceled military access just now. Scared the shit out of me. Video's <laughs> over. <It's> okay. <laughs> you did say oh, you were gonna stream. <laughs> I <laughs> was incredibly <laughs> concerned. I, I a little bit of pee just came out. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Dude, that was <laughs> horrifying. Everybody okay? Oh my god. I even leaned away from the mic to make sure it wasn't gonna be in that loud. Good <laughs> god. <laughs> Is everybody dead? I'm I'm all right. I was just Mathis, did you just stuff. ally Australia? Maybe. Nobles worried. You're Various at peace with them for a few worried. years. What do you care about? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're interfering with my plans here. You have ten more years of peace with them. Fine, I'll just go back to off to Africa then. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> so do we, are we all good to wrap yeah, up? Yeah, I suppose we should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm in a good spot. Sweet. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did and you're still alive, uh, click the <laughs> like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.